We gotta go bigger on this though, because it is the year of the woman. And to understand what's happening in 2018, you gotta look back in history. Back in 1992, female candidates ran in previously unseen numbers. And when the dust settled, two dozen women had been added to the House, and the number of female senators had jumped from two to six. Fast forward a generation, and a new and much bigger wave appears to be forming. 260 women running for congressional seats, 23 in the Senate and 237 in the House. Another 16 are up for governor. All of those numbers have broken records already, and there could be more records to come. I want to bring back my panel, all great women. Christine, why do you think so many women are running? Because they're fed up. With? with nothing happening in government. And they're fed up with, with all of the rhetoric that is fear-based, not to the points of their lives or other people's lives. Now look, we know that it is tougher to get women to run for office than it is men. They have to be asked, you know, two or three times more to run for office before they say yes. What I think is happening here is a version of that. They asked themselves the question probably a number of times before 2018, and now they've asked the question and they've already answered it because they just can't take what's happening and what that will mean for their communities, their partners, their children, their grandchildren. Stephanie, go outside females running for office, go to activists. We're seeing these numbers surge. We saw the Women's March, but is that translating to the polls? Has that activism made its way till today? And the answer is absolutely yes. And you know, I'm just watching Abigail Spanberger in the earlier segment. I mean, perfect example of someone who she never thought about running for office. That was never her designed plan in her life. She just felt called to do it for her community. And just this weekend, Saturday morning, there were 200 volunteers to canvas at one site in that district. This is a Republican district. We, you mentioned Virginia a year ago. Well, I want to talk about Virginia exactly a year ago when the assembly in Virginia picked up 15 Democratic seats. We picked up 15, 11 were women. Why? Because those women have been organizing, they have been registering people to vote. I'm seeing it everywhere. So it's not just the historic number of women running for office. There is truly a historic number of women underneath these races having those women candidates backs and the, and the good men too. But I, I've never seen anything like it. And Emily's List has been doing this for for over three decades, we have never seen anything like this. Noel, Democratic female candidates are still outnumbering Republican female candidates three to one. Why do you think that is? You know, I, I don't know why that is. Um, it, that's, that's interesting to take a look at that. One of the things that um, I would like to see more of, <clears throat> we were talking earlier, I'm a national fundraiser. I deal with bundlers. I deal with 99% men. Where are the ladies? I'd like to see more lady donors. I'd like to see more ladies getting involved with their pocketbooks. Look, I'm friends with a lot of girls that'll go out and buy an $18,000 Birkin bag. What about putting that $18,000 to work? A lot? Who will do that? You know what I mean? Well, Where I mean, are you not banking? I want to go <laughs> there. Yeah. Need donors for my not <laughs> profit. But I'm telling you, I mean, they will not think anything by going to Bergdorf's or Saks Fifth Avenue or whatever and dropping it. Why don't Why don't they put more money into candidates? Because they're act they're active. They're out there. More women are running for office. I'd like to see it in the donor class. All right, I want I you guys to tell me. Happen, but I want to just say, on the Democratic side, it is happening at the donor yeah, class. That's true. I mean, not not only has Emily's List, which is solely, I mean, we are solely committed, committed to electing Democratic women. We just raised $110 million in this election cycle, way beyond anything we've ever done before. We have had congressional candidates, first-time candidates running for office, women like Katie Hill out in California, who raised $3.8 million in one quarter. I remember when that was an entire congressional campaign. My goodness, I remember when that was three congressional campaigns. And where is that coming from? Hundred dollar contributions from I'd women, like and they're Bundlers. turning. And they're but they're coming. They're coming. I'd like to it's see that money. It's extraordinary grassroots. I'd like money. to see that money going to actually <laughs> help people. Yeah, I don't right. want it to yeah. go to campaign well, to ads people, anymore. You have good people in the government, and that's what they're investing in. All right, uh, Noel. I want to talk about races you're watching. I know for you, it's a Senate race in Arizona, where you're going to have a woman either way. Yep, which yes. is awesome. Yes. 
yes. that. You know, first woman to hold that seat. That's right. Um, yeah, this is a very interesting race, uh, and it's it's a negative race, you know, to me. Sure they is. have really done a lot of backbiting, which. Uh, as a woman, I, I don't like seeing that. I really wish that they would have stayed above board. But once it starts, once the mudslinging starts, people feel like they have to take up for their side and for their platform and go back and forth. This is going to be so interesting because if you guys have looked at this race, it's gone McSally up. It's gone McSally down. It, it, it has changed in the course of she sang the national anthem and now she's up two points. This is basically a dead heat. This is a nail biter. This is one of the biggest. She sang the me. anthem. Yep. Cinema flipped the coin. <laughs> I just wonder, uh, you know, in terms of health care, uh, McSally has not been honest about yes. what her health care is and that what she how she's voted before. And that's disappointing. Um, I want to talk about what race you're looking at, Christine, my home state of New Jersey, yes. which I always have to give time for in this hour and Pennsylvania. What matters to you? Uh, the 11th district in New Jersey, Mike Lee Sherrill running against Assembly Member Jay Weber. This is a, an open seat. It's mostly in the Morris County part of New Jersey, northern New Jersey, more affluent. Mikey Sherrill is a, a was a Navy uh, helicopter pilot. She's worked uh, on numerous different military plans with different parts of the government. She was also a former prosecutor. So and she's a mother that, of four and a mother of four. And any of that kind of Democrats aren't tough on crime. Well, I think Mikey has that taken <laughs> and care Pennsylvania. of. Right. <laughs> and in Pennsylvania, there's a fascinating district, Mary Gay Scanlon against uh, Kim Pearl. Two women running, so either way we get um, a woman in, in Congress. But that's a seat for me that shows the difference redistricting makes. In the old district, uh, the Democrats had won at points by only two percent. In the Democrat this district last time, Hillary won by twenty-three percent. Redistricting is part of the holy grail of elections, and that race really shows it. All right, we got almost no time left. What's your number one race to watch? Oh my God, that, that is so hard as the president of Emily's list. But Gretchen Whitmer, next governor of Michigan, she has done an extraordinary job. This is a state that went for Trump last time. It was a surprise when that happened. Uh, she jumped into that race right away. She scared off a bunch of Democratic men who wanted to run against her. She's put together a great, great organization. She's talking about health care, and she's talking about, if I may, fix the damn roads and that's what that race is about. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.